Why is light white? It's not an obvious problem at first, but if we mix red, blue and green paint together, we get brown. But if we mix red, blue and green light together, we get... white. Why does this happen and what's going on? Keep on watching to find out more. It's common knowledge now that white light is actually made up of a spectrum of colours, and this is a fact that I've never questioned before, until I thought about adding all of the colours in the spectrum together. If we did this with paint, we get a brown colour which bears no resemblance to the pure white colour which we are told light forms. The issue is that adding paint together and adding light together are two very different things. When you mix paint, the colours are subtractively mixed, whereas light undergoes additive mixing. What do these terms mean though? First off, we need to look at what's happening when we perceive colour. If we look at a red car, what is actually happening is that white light from the sun is reflected from the body of the car to meet with our eyes. However, the reason for the red colour is that not all of the light is reflected. Remember that white light is actually made up of a spectrum of colours, and certain materials will absorb different colours better, leaving a reduced spectrum which is reflected. In the case of our car, only the reddish colours are not absorbed, hence giving a red colour which is reflected to reach our eyes. If we mix two colours of paint, yellow and blue for example, both paints will absorb different colours of light which gives them their distinct hues. But since there is no overlap of these, we don't see a yellow mixture or a blue mixture. Instead, we get a colour where there is overlap of the reflection colours of these two paints, giving the familiar green appearance of our mixture. This is known as subtractive mixing, and is very different from the way in which light is mixed. Imagine we start with no light, giving no colours in the spectrum. Now we add violet and blue light, which gives a blue colour to the spectrum. And since the mixing is additive, there is no need for overlap to give the colour. All of the colours are present in the resulting mixture. If we keep adding all these different colours, we can build up an entire spectrum to give white light. However, you may know that we can create white light from just red, green and blue light. So how does this work if not all of the spectrum is filled? The answer to this is given by the composition of your eye and how we see colour in the first place. In the retina, there are cells known as cone cells lining the surface. There are three different types of cone cell, one which can detect blue light, one which can detect green light, and the last which can detect red light. When green light is shone into your eye, the green cone cell detects this and sends a message to your brain to say that green light is being detected. If all three of red, green and blue lights are detected by the cone cells, they all send messages to the brain, which interprets this as white light. So, now you know why adding lots of paint colours together gives a brown sludge due to the limited overlap of all these paints, and why TV screens only need red, green and blue LEDs in them to produce any colour. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested about more of the workings of our world around us, click here to see a playlist on just that.